ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I do strongly believe in bird killing. So I was about to kill some birds with stones, okay? Because you, they live in glass houses and they ain't got no business living in nobody's glass house while people throwing stones. I don't even understand why they do that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, want to thank all of you for joining me this afternoon. Uh, got something to talk about. We're going to talk about a situation first. Then we're going to talk about y'all. Okay? So the situation, we got to talk about that one before we talk about everything else. I, oh, this is ESET. These are uh, keys, serial keys that are good for 30 days and I just go to a site like this and just renew it every 30 days because I'm loading it up you see gotta build it up and build it up that's why we're solid okay ladies and gentlemen uh, yeah we're gonna be installing this one only because it was acquired 5-4 blah blah blee blah 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 blee blah blah alright or should we do this one? No, that's the antivirus. I want the smart security. Because it's got intelligence. Um, like I said, two birds, one stone. I'm going to take care of my business while doing this stuff for you guys. I'm not going to give you guys all my time like I've been doing. That, 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 that ain't going to work. Okay? That, 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 that's what I said. Now, there was a situation... I need to explain the situation. It ain't about none of y'all, so don't worry about it. I ain't about to put none of y'all out on Front Street and how intelligent some of you are. Just kidding. You know he ain't kidding. You know he real serious when he talks about how smart we is. You know, you know he being derogatory. You know he being better than sarcastic. Better than sarcastic? Better than sarcastic because we know it. Ladies and gentlemen, I was in North Carolina. Now I'm going to let you guys know something. When I went to North Carolina, I purposely and intentionally stayed in a homeless shelter. I was on my way to New York, but I stayed in a homeless shelter for 90 days. I really wanted to test the system. See if the people really had access to money and to prove to myself that I could start from scratch. So I left California and left everything behind, gave away the apartment, everything, even the person I gave the apartment to paid their rent for six months. And then came back to California a couple of years later, they were still in the apartment and I found that they were behind in their rent and this was a very good friend. So I got them caught up on their rent. They were thanking me and didn't have to thank me for nothing. They were a friend. Didn't have to pay nothing back or nothing. They were a friend. Still are. All right. But when I got to North Carolina, I met two individuals that stood out. Carlos Montanez and a John Sturdivant. Now, John Sturdivant, that young man surprised me John was I think John's about five foot three and he was a youngster he was about 19 years old and John was homeless in some ways by choice and John and I would get to talking it took a minute for John to even come near the trusting another person who was in the shelter especially me because I wasn't your <laughs> homeless regular homeless person you know I had the computers I had the locker uh, at the U-Haul next door in other words I was homeless in a homeless shelter but I wasn't homeless which is why they kicked me out three months later they kicked me out uh, no, they didn't kick me out three months later. They kicked me out in 45 days. Well, either way, I got kicked out because they said I wasn't homeless. Literally, they kicked me out of a homeless shelter because they said I wasn't homeless. And because I reported them to the local news channel, 
for how they were treating the homeless because that's what I do. I'm an advocate. Um, they thought that I was there just to spy on them and <laughs> report them. And I could care less about the people running the shelter. But I did care more about the way they were treating the people in the shelter. That mattered to me. And even to this day, it still matters. Well, John, after we got past the he didn't trust anyone stage, it turns out that he started to trust me. And so we were having a conversation. Now, John was one of those he knew of scripture. He didn't know everything, but he did know of scripture. And he considered himself to be someone who cared about his relationship with God. And so as I'm talking to John, I decide to keep the conversation slow and easy. And so John comes to me one day. It's about 6 p.m. It's just starting to get dark. And he sits down and he tells me, man, I just got this. And he's showing me this box. And he says, man, I didn't have enough money. Um, I, 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 it was $15.58 and I had $15.34 or something like that. And he said, and the guy, he gave it to me. And, and, and so a brand new Bible, I just got this brand new Bible and he shows it. He takes it out of the wrapper. I'm the first person he shows it to. He hasn't even opened it. Ladies and gentlemen, he hasn't even opened it because he wants to show me his brand new Bible. So he wanted to open it with my presence. So, okay. And I said, let me show you something. And so I tell him to turn to Psalms 83, 18. And he does, and he sees God's name. And I said, now go to Exodus 6, 3, and you'll see where he says that that is his name that he wants everybody to know. Okay. So he sees that, and he takes the box, and he sets it down next to us on the bench, and he says, I'll be right back. I said, okay. He says, would you keep an eye on this? I said, yeah, I'll be here. And so he takes off. I finished watching the DVD. Well, it's a, a bootleg DVD. But I finished watching the DVD I was watching because that's the other thing. The staff saw everybody watching my portable DVD player for movies that were just out that, you know, it was bootleg. And how much attention that was drawing. So I literally brought too much attention to myself. John comes running back. And he literally, he ran from there and he comes running back. And he's out of breath. And I said, okay what's what's wrong he's oh no i just went down to the corner where they be preaching and I, I i stopped the preacher from saying whatever he was saying and i said how come you don't teach this and he showed it to him he said this has been here the whole time and how come you don't teach this and he literally turns around and runs away back to where we were didn't stay to hold a conversation or nothing that was John. I've lost contact with John. John, a lot of respect for. I've never seen anybody with so much zeal. I really, 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 truly have appreciated that young man's zeal to this day. And I wish you all had the same type of zeal that John had and has, excuse me, because I don't think he's lost it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just showed him something in scripture, the same as I show you guys something in their so-called code statutes and laws and he took that and he went right to the people who are responsible for handling such information and he confronted them with it i just got off the phone with someone who says he went to the bank and he spoke with them asking them questions about this and i said did you bring the law with you did you bring the code did you bring the statute well no uh I said, well, then what type of conversation are you having? You're just one of those kooks coming into their facility talking about all that sovereign stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, do yourselves a favor. It's on the website. We're going to show you where. It's at both sites. The first thing we're going to do, we talked about this FOIA thing in our last video, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a Mara Legion. 
and we're gonna I gotta take care of that secure part and I was supposed to call them and get their attention on that and I will y'all has my words now oh by the way you can't get to because it's a the name of the folder is a promissory note and as you see no promissory anything here because these are just documents they are not files and that's the problem so what you have to do ladies and gentlemen is you have to get rid of the HTML and you have to hit enter now now watch a whole different screen I want y'all to pay attention see that wholly different screen and you see a promissory note <laughs> now let's see if that's there because it's under 2018 let's see if it's there because I didn't see it the other day so maybe it is in both places but we're gonna see let's go all the way we started from the bottom now we done we done started from the bottom again uh oh he just repeated himself see it's not there so that's why you gotta go without the HTML because the HTML is not showing the folders but the indexes and we're gonna go to a promissory note and there is a folder that you need to focus on see there's the new deal document right there new deal new deal new deal new deal document okay 9.5 millimeter okay so that's what you're clicking on click 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 copy and paste copy it and paste it right there on the desk of whomever you're talking to it has the section 401 it has the federal reserve act well that's section 401 it has the presidential proclamation it has the march 9 1933 banking act and it has the congressional record okay it has all four Oh, by the way, that letter to the clerk of the Supreme Court, definitely I would suggest y'all do something similar to y'all courts. But anyway, let's get back to this. If you're going to go and talk to somebody about that law, if you're going to challenge a debt concerning that law, send them a copy of the law. Ladies and gentlemen, get it documented that they were given a copy of the law so that they'll have no excuse, so that they cannot claim ignorance. Like Alex Jones, did you did you guys see Alex Jones and his trial and how badly that went? How his attorney mistakenly on purpose, I mean, excuse me, mistakenly on purpose. Stop it. His attorney made a mistake on purpose. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to him. It, it, look, his attorney is a licensed attorney. He's an officer of the court. He serves the court. That's right. He serves the court. And that's why he served it to the court. He served what to the court? entire case come on now didn't you see that ain't no attorney making no mistake like that you've been doing this for too many years you know don't know no attorney make no mistake like that well ladies and gentlemen attorneys don't make mistakes like that that's attorney client privilege that he breached now if Alex challenges that what the court will do is the court will say well that he gave the attorney power of attorney and he gave him general power of attorney to do whatever he want and the attorney can do whatever he want and negotiating tactics that's what they're going to say guarantee it so alex jones if he's for real if he wasn't a part of this whole thing to make other people look stupid because look ladies and gentlemen that whole case with alex jones has some interesting ramifications for the rest of you you see, Alex Jones, if he's not allowed to say whatever he wants that doesn't bring actual physical harm to anyone, that doesn't bring actual physical harm to anyone, pay attention. Nobody was physically harmed. There was no fire in a theater. He is a reporter. He publishes current event information, commentary. He's not saying anything different than the politicians say when they are running for office. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you all don't see the ramifications of that case with Alex Jones in Texas, how that's going to affect each of you in your so-called free speech, you got another thing coming. But anyway, let's get back to this uh, 
you all having some zeal and speaking up for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, we created a letter for you. Did you create a letter for them? Oh, sure did. What letter did you create? Well, we got to go to another PDF section. So watch this. Hold on. Watch this. Uh, we're going to go uh, SATCOMM911.com. See, it's already there. SATCOMM911.com. And a promissory note. We ain't even got to, I ain't even got to change that. Because the folder is called the same thing on SATCOMM911.com. It's a different folder. Oh, snap. Oh, yes, no. The reason why is because it's PDFs at SATCOM911.com. Watch. Uh-oh, we still got a full fold. SATCOM911.com forward slash PDFs. Let's get, let's take care of that. I know, oh, because it's under an understanding folder. So that's why. So sorry, can't do it that way. We have to go to a legal understanding. See, that's what we were missing. And a promissory note. Okay, once we get into a promissory note, oh, that IRS process, man, that, that folder right there going to do y'all some good. Now, what we interested in, interested in, where you at? I don't see it. Did I put it up? Hold on, y'all. I, I just need y'all to hold on a second. There's a document I need to put up. I think it might be in the IRS process. Accrual, no, it's not. So give me a second. Got to pause, y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We're working on a couple of things in the background. I have to go take um, Penny. I have to take her outside. But why don't you just take her outside and come back and tell us? Because I don't care. Oh, if you don't care, then why are you talking about it? Because I feel like it. I thought you don't care. Don't care means you don't have no feelings towards something. I got two fingers. That's what you're about to say, huh? All right. Well, I got two fingers too, mother. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a document that we are going to put up on the internet. Technically, it's already up under the folder that I just showed you. And here is the document. It's the satisfaction of mortgage document. Ladies and gentlemen, this document highlights the fact that your mortgage was satisfied upon receipt of your promissory note. Okay? It's got little highlights and everything. It's complete and everything. Okay. We put this together for you. So we're going to tell you what we would do. Now, some of the information, this deals with California. So you'll have to change this. Now, I want y'all to pay attention. You'll have to change this to your state. Because it says what the lender does after the homeowner pays off the mortgage. It is now time for the lender to release the lien. Release the homes. Okay. So make sure that they release that lien. Now, if they don't release the lien, what do you do? You report them to the CCC. CCC? The Community Corrections Corporation? Community Corrections Corporation? Yeah, CCC. That's not Community Corrections Corporation. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> There is a CCC for the prison system, okay? But that, that, that ain't the CCC you're contacting. The CCC you're contacting is the comptroller of the currency, okay? That's who you're, you're contacting. And you're following a complaint against that bank for not following the law, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, you're following. You're filing a complaint against that party, Sorry, do you guys hear how loud it is, how these dogs are making noise all day long? Man, I can't stand it. They're just making way too much noise. I can't even hear my own self think. I'm sorry, do you know of anybody who has eight dogs in one room at one time and you can't even hear that they're even in the same room? They're less than five feet away from me. They want me to spray them down now because they're a little warm. It's cooler today than it has been. But, you know, I'm still, we have our routine where I, I spray them with mists of water and they sit underneath the fan and get air conditioned. That's our routine. Sorry, it's just the way it is. So give me a second while I go take care of that because that's more important than you guys. And I'm not joking. Hold on. Okay, we're back. 
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're working on a couple other things in the background, but what we did do is to make sure that y'all has it. This is the AmeriLegion website, and it will be there. I just have to transfer it to the correct folder. That is a different connection altogether, just the way I have it set up. And the SATCOM website, it's under promissory note and satisfaction of note, deed of trust. Okay, so we put that up there for you guys so y'all can has it. The dogs are doing okay as i said where do you have seven puppies all huddled together their eyes are open they're able to walk i just i can't even let the mother out of the gate because they all try to run out literally run god it's like a bunch of little uh ants or something you have to try to like grab each ant but they're too small and you can't reach far enough because they're getting quicker anyway i have one and I'm just talking right now. I have one. This is the one I think I will keep. I'm only keeping one. Uh, but this one, it's a boy. He's the runt. Just like Max was the runt. He's the runt. He's the one that comes up to the gate and will whine at me to let me know he wants to be sprayed with water. He's the one that taught the other ones to do the same thing. And then after I spray him with a little bit of mist, he then licks the gate because he realizes that it's cold and he's drinking cold water. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, but yeah, he's won me over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, those of you, you're going to have to get off the pot. Sorry, you can't just keep sitting there hoping that something else is going to come your way. All right, you got to get off the pot and flush all of that other stuff that you were doing. And you have to start focusing on the Federal Reserve Act. That paragraph was there for you all. And you're not using it. And because you guys just walk away the moment they you, you meet up with some opposition. Shame on you. Shame on you. You have got to not argue. You've just got to ask them, then what law are you using? That's what you got to ask them. This is the law you're supposed to be using when it comes to promissory notes and home loans. What law are you using? Well, I'm using this one. And this one says that I can do exactly what I did. So let's, you mind if we go before a jury and let them decide whether or not what I'm doing is legal and what you're doing isn't? Because see, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have no problem because that's a lawsuit we're getting ready to bring. Like I told y'all, people get ready. Okay, people get ready. Cause here we go. Once upon a time, not long ago, people were hitting the level of like slow. Uh, when laws were stern and justice stood, and people were acting like they're all too good, their little little boy was misled by another little boy. And this is what he said: "Hey, gotta go. I hope everything goes all right with you." Like I said, I choose to use E S E T because E S E T does some things. But I have four virus scanners on this computer, and this will be the fifth one windows defender being one of them why because somebody's got to run interference all right with that being said i want to thank all of you for taking the time to uh grow a pair i'm sorry uh uh bananas uh ladies and gentlemen many of you are timid many of you are waiting to see if it works for tommy you guys don't need to be doing this. You need to stay as far away from this stuff as you possibly can because you're ruining it for everyone else. That wait and see attitude, that's why we're where we are now. As a society, as a people, we are where we are now because too many people want to sit on the sidelines hoping that somebody going, free at last, free at last, thank God almighty, we're free at last. They think that somebody's going to lead them to a promised land. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wouldn't follow the Jacksons when they wanted to show you the way, then you ain't going to be willing to follow nobody else. So you might as well just start taking the lead now. I done gave you everything. I done gave you everything. Well, I haven't given you everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are some other things we're working on, but that deals with a company thing that we're offering to our clients. And so we can't give you all that. I'm, I know I'm sorry. Can't give it to you. But I've given you more than enough. I've given you enough to get started. And before you get started, you better get down. Okay. 
I, I've given you enough to get started. Okay? Come on and push. I'm not pushing y'all no more. Y'all gonna have to start taking the lead. Come on and push. Okay? It is my hope that you all take the lead and quit leaning on me. Cause you're not strong. Cause I won't take no lead. I won't take your hand. I won't help you carry on. Okay? Cause I'm going, it's time for me to go sit on the dock of the bay and watch the tide as it rolls away and, 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 and sit in the morning sun. Okay, because I done cried my last tear. All right. Oh, mommy, I see what he was doing. He was using all kind of puns from songs. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I cried my last tear. Oh, man. And he, then we won't even talk about Fistful of Tears because that, that's that's uh, Gladys Knight. And oh, God, I, I could tell what he was doing. You couldn't tell, Mama? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing me to bring you guys this new document that was created for, as you can see, for someone else. But I decided to give it to the rest of you because this is what you all should have been doing. Your note, your promissory note paid off your loan. The only thing is, you guys did a blank endorsement. Stop doing a blank endorsement. Anybody who's getting ready to buy anything right now, sign it and then pay to the order of the name of the corporation who is lending the money without recourse. That's how you sign every contract from this point on. Every application, endorse it, pay to the order of without recourse. Please, 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 please. Baby, please don't. Anyway, baby, I love you so. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, start endorsing your documents properly. Any financial instrument, endorse it properly. That's why you guys have not been getting paid because you have not been endorsing the instrument. Go ahead and look up what an endorsement is for. You all have been doing what's known as blank endorsements. Go ahead and look up what a blank endorsement is. And those of you who have homes, you will see that's all you've been doing is a blank endorsement. You've been leaving it up to the banks to say whom they, you've been doing a blank check and been leaving it up to them to determine whom they want to write the check out to. Okay, just that simple. That's where your mistake is. That's where you can correct that mistake. Oh, no, no, don't think you can't correct. You can correct that mistake. But y'all got some work to do. I got work to do. Okay, y'all got work to do. Because I, I got to look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for taking the time. Y'all have a good day. I got to go and get some work done before the dogs wake up in about 12 hours. <laughs> They're on sleeping pills. No, they're not. Yes, they are. He put sleeping pills in the mama and they suck it all up and they sleep just like her. No, I don't. Stop that. All right. Got to go. Take care.